Hi guys, Squad here. Welcome to another Transport Fever 2 video. We are rocking and rolling now. So, just to recap, the goal is to get a billion dollars. We've done that. The goal is to connect to all the cities. We've done that. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to connect everything up and keep on going. This is a custom map playthrough with uh, hard mods. One in hard mode with, with mods that make it more interesting and difficult and better, in my opinion. Everything's in the video description if you want the details on that. Massive shout out to you guys that joined the YouTube membership program. Thank you so much for your support. In today's video, we are going to continue. As you can see, we still have a PAX problem here. We're going to continue to um, move our passengers around the map uh, because there are some queues building up. Although this one, to be fair, was due to a stuck train. One of, one of these um, orange Bradford Lee trains was for some inexplicable reason sat at the platform and refused to move, which basically led to quite a lot of zero income um i'm not sure what happened the game sometimes does that i don't think i edited the station which some sometimes triggers things to get stuck and the game didn't give me any warning so there we go uh, let me just smooth that out uh, that look nice there we go beautiful uh so yeah in the last video we connected mitchell dean down to lee we've got lee down to bradford bradford going down to sandhurst it's great it's all you know it's all starting to move nicely uh, I've also quickly had a look at the other systems, if you want to call it that, uh, the grain alcohol thing. Looking at the grain scenario, everything seems to be moving along here. Both of them are more or less capped out on the stuff that's being moved. This is not getting out of hand, which means probably got the right amount of ships for everything. Maybe we could put another one there, but it seems to be working okay. Up here, uh, I noticed that um, obviously this is pretty packed we've got a truck coming in so frequently now we can't really put any more trucks on that uh, and this thing down here this refinery has in fact leveled up as we saw in the last video demand is only going to keep going one way so what i've done is i've stuck a load of trucks onto the second crude line so that should start to ship uh, any moment now and that will obviously bring more crude in there get it going the plastic again i had to stick a load of trucks on here in fact you can see them all queuing up presume they've run out of oil uh, we are I had to stick more oil trucks on as well because they're not moving the stuff quickly enough each truck's carrying 21 I can't remember when we get bigger trucks but the situation should resolve itself soon if not we might have to consider just linking that with a train I don't want to I don't think we'll need to once we get the bigger tankers uh, which is I don't know maybe 1990 possibly 2000 not really sure when it'll happen but the good news is that we are making money and as predicted I said to you you know, I think this aircraft line will quickly become our most profitable. Uh, and by the way, you can see the damage that stuck train caused. And these two are new new lines that we're establishing. So don't worry about the big, big losses here. Uh, but if you scroll down to the bottom there, you can see already, and I've just added some more planes, already the goods and plastic aviation is far and away now our biggest earner. I expect that will get even higher. Uh, very soon if you look at the finances i've added more planes so i think we'll be up here i think we'll be up in the 40 million income bracket big big earners aviation getting paid both ways it doesn't get much better than that apart from massive trains maybe so we need to continue with the uh, moving people around scenario now looking at biggleswade destinations we've got people obviously moving around biggleswade itself um as you can see here going shopping and work line usage is not bad uh, then down here, we've got people going to Worthing, and obviously there is no line usage because we don't have a line to Worthing. Uh, similar situation over in Worthing. We have people going to Biggleswade and people moving around Worthing, but also targeting Twickenham and Hyde, interestingly enough. So somehow they're getting down to Twickenham here. I can't remember where Hyde is. There's Hyde. So they're kind of making the way down the most extortionate route I can... <laughs> Down this country road is the only way they must be getting there. Yeah, look, people are traveling that horrible route. So I think we need to do something about this. Uh, obviously, Hyde and Twickenham don't have any train line yet. Uh, Luggershaw doesn't have a train line. Mitchell Dean does. And Mitchell Dean could, in fact, have a, a line that crosses over, could have some track that crosses that waterway there, as long as we make sure it elevates and keeps clear of the the ships and it could go to Biggleswade and Worthing and it could possibly take a left fork out of there and serve some of these other cities which would bring these into connection with this side because at the moment we've got you know if you consider the 
the map to be split down the middle with this massive waterway. This side can't really, you know, move around. This side is really well connected now, but this side is really lacking. So where do we put the stations and all that kind of thing? Well, I think the simplest thing to do is, first of all, let's get Worthing and Biggleswaid uh, connected, as we kind of discussed in the last episode anyway. I deliberately left this open for that. And then I'm thinking we'll punch down to Mitchell Dean. We just need to make sure they've got enough platforms. It looks like... Yeah, we've got a free platform here, and we've got a free platform here, both PAX platforms, so we can do that. Um, probably take that outer one and come over to here. So I'm thinking, let's put a station here, and then we'll kind of hook it all up that way. Uh, so let's see, Mitchell Dean is there. So yeah, our track would... Now, do we want to go that side? So if we came that side, we'd be crossing the water here and coming through there. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. So let's punch it down here. Buildings, we'll go with a passenger station. Uh, high speed, 240 meters. In fact, at this point, I'm just going to go to 320. I'm just going to go to the maximum length. We will want people to stop here and carry on as well. So how many... I think we can probably just do two platforms. I don't think we'll need any more for now. We'll spin it round. We'll keep it well out of town. Now, looking at this... This is residence down here. This is commercial at this end. So it would be better for noise abatement reasons if we kind of keep it up this end of the world. Let me just quickly flatten this ground. Uh, let's flatten that there. Give it a, a relatively easy ride there. So I think maybe in the, this kind of direction is where we want to be. That gives us plenty of time to arc to there and arc this way. Um, so we don't need cargo here yet. Will we later? Maybe. Don't know. Uh, but for now, we'll just configure it as a um, as a uh, passenger one only. So I'm just going to make sure we use a non non buildable road because I just want to make sure that um, no houses get plonked on this part of the map. So we'll do it that way, and then we'll start to curve in. There's a high speed we could bring it into here, possibly. We could route it that way, so we could, for example, do this. And then curve that in like that. That's one way of doing it. And then stay away from this, because this is all housing. So we probably want to try and hook into this part, I think. So if we trim that back a touch, and then just connect in like that, and then what we can do is upgrade that section to be buildable town buildable so that'll grow back but that means we've got a, a reasonable loop point through there uh just looking at the bus network that exists we've obviously got this uh clockwise bus thing going on so we're going to need uh a way of you know what we could do trams maybe we haven't done trams yet we have to build a tram network for it but we could do trams yeah let's do trams should we do trams let's do trams um, so we're going to put a, this is a bus tram stop, so it doubles us both anyway. Uh, if we have the bus stop here somewhere, and then they can come through there, and we'll have a stop there, and then we'll go through the centre. I'm going to have to upgrade this. This is going to be painful, I think. Yep, fine. one of the buildings getting removed is quite big. Uh, and we'll punch that up as well. Unfortunately, we do have to take the hit on this, um... We need our road network to perform ultimately. So we'll have one stop there like that. So it will go through like this. And then it can come round the other side to perhaps... Or we could stop there. Might as well use that one. And then we need to come out this way. So we'll have one stop on the way out. And then we don't need any more stops. It can just carry on looping. Uh, we could even short circuit that if we want to. Do we want to do that? Yeah, we might want to do that thinking about it otherwise it'd be quite a long a long route back so what we could do is we could make that buildable and then we'll just quickly smooth that out there so it looks nice um yeah i think that'll work so we'll have let's see we've got biggles wade buses i'll just copy that and then we'll have biggles wade trams because why not uh, color. What color should we go for? Biggles white trams. Let's go for a light green color. Um, right. So now we just need to put the stop down. 
I just noticed I built this out of the wrong thing. Let me just quickly... By the way, if you hover over it, it's going to upgrade the whole thing. If you hold the shift key down, you can upgrade smaller sections like that. So we can just make sure that that's buildable, but this bit isn't. Um, we could do the same here. We could make sure that that's now buildable if you want to. Make that part of the town. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think that works. That gives us a shorter route back with the tram as well. Uh, so we'll need a tram stop. So we'll go to buildings. And we have a bus tram station. They're both the same thing. The only thing you have to do is if you look on the... Over here, I put zero, put two or three. Let's go three. You need to make sure you put electric. You need to tick the electric option because we're going to need the whole thing to be electrified. So we'll turn that around like that. Uh, let's see. We want to build it. I want a nice short walk over to the... Um, terminal there, so we'll do that. Why is that so sunken down, I wonder? Let me have a quick... I was going to say, I thought we already flattened this. There we go. Okay, not sure what's going on there. That'll do. Uh, configure that, and we'll put some more platforms in there. Follows exactly the same principles, whether it's electrified or not. You know, all the same principles uh, are true. Make sure you've got your entrance and exit points going. So we'll have three entrances like that. One exit usually does it, I find. And then we'll go with the... And, and the same thing applies here. You need to make sure this is electrified as well. So when you've got... When you put your one-way street down, make sure you tick electric this time. Because you're going to need to continue electrification everywhere that you need it. So we'll curl that in like that. And then we'll have second route coming in and we'll branch that one off like that and then we'll make sure we put our waypoints down so that we can waypoint everything in and then finally we'll just ditch those lights because nobody likes traffic lights okay so having done that there's a couple of things that we need now uh, one is we need to electrify the the route that we're taking and the second thing is we need some kind of a tram uh, depot because a normal depot won't do uh, if you look there's a road depot and then there's literally a second depot for trams uh, so what we'll do is we'll punch that out here and we'll have a separate road going in for that so we'll go to our roads this one again make sure it's on electric and then connect that in and then we'll just get rid of this and we'll smooth that out oops smooth that out because I don't like it looking like that and then we need to go to the roads and we need to upgrade. So we can go to tools and do this and do tram track tool. Upgrade streets with tram tracks. So what that will do is if we if we go to tools and go to tram track, if we click on this, it will just keep the road as it is, but it'll add all the electric catenaries over the top. And we need our trams to basically get down through here and then follow the line of the tram track that we're taking. So in our case, we want everything outside the bus uh, tram station or bus station. And then we said we're going to come down through here, like that. We're going to go round there, like that. And then we're going to exit this way and go back that way. So that's what we said our route would be. And the route from the tram depot is electrified as well. So that should be all we need but just for good measure i would just do a little bit more uh, just in case you want to come down here later and uh let's say we want to run some trams this way perhaps so you know while you're at it think about just electrifying a bit more then we'll go to our uh line and we'll add the tram station there there, there, there. and do we stop at that one or that one mm -hmm. we'll go with that one because this is quite a a big road imagine some stuff will get built off here soon we might even want to have another bus stop down here at some point um, but for now we'll just leave it as it is that defines that and then the other thing is when you buy the trams you have to buy them from the tram depot not the bus depot it's obvious but it can catch people out and we have different options like we've never seen this stuff before you can see that back in the day we did have you know trams that we could have used but you know i don't tend to use them till a little bit later on the emissions are as of discussed in the emissions video pretty much the same as buses which is kind of surprising in a way um you'd think they'd have a you know less emission but uh 
Yeah, it's the way it is. So it's more or less a case of, well, how much capacity you want, how much speed do you want, uh, what running cost do you want. 40 Ks is obviously a bit slow when you can have 60. Um, but obviously you're going to pay a price for that. But for 69 grand, I would take that one over that one any day. Similar capacity, um, but it goes a lot quicker. But the loading speed, interestingly, is only two, whereas on that one it's five. So it can load a lot quicker, but then travel slower. Will it get up to 60? That's what you have to ask yourself. When it's going through a busy town, will it get up to 60? Uh, so obviously the best one we can get right now is this one, which is a seven times loading speed. Really quick, which for a, a trip to the train station, I think is ideal. So we'll go with five of those. Again, we're going to make a loss on this, but I don't care because it will get people. I think I just put them on the bus line, didn't I? I'm pretty certain I just put that on the bus line. I did as well. <laughs> Let me just <laughs> let me just reapportion them over to the tram line, which is where they should be, and then we'll recolor them uh, green color. There we go. So yeah, that will get people quite effectively to the train station, but you know they won't want to go there yet because there's nothing to go there for, right? So that's the next part of our journey. Is same thing at Worthing. Now I'm thinking we'll have the train station here. We'll have the bus stop there, so that the buses can effectively just bring people to here the graph zeppelin nice so this one will be a terminus one of the few times that we use oh look at that we hit 1980 and it's just upgraded the bus uh, the, tr the stations look we've got the brand new terminus oh man just when we built this you know what we're going to trash that now we're going to trash it we're going to get rid of it we're going to put the new one back because it looks so much cooler so much more modern and annoyingly you can't really upgrade what you have very easily but it's so worth it look you get these wonderful platforms look at this it's so modern night and day it really is there's no there's no difference in the train stations between it's just that like old school victorian almost or full-on modern there's nothing in between the art department were being a bit lazy that day i think so <laughs> So we'll build this, and this will go through that line, obviously. It'll just go straight through. It's a pass-through type thing. Uh, we'll have it connecting in like that. Uh, just look at the elevation change here. Obviously, I think we'll just grab that, build up the land a bit. Just through there. Just so our trains are having an easier time of it. Now that's connected to the road, which is all we need. And then the last thing that we need... Hmm, this is going to be a residence area, isn't it? No, it's not. It's commercial. Whew. Okay, commercial district. We're good. So we'll have buses and trams or whatever come in this way. Uh, so we'll go with the bus station like that. And we'll flick it around and just have it doing this. Same thing. Configure that. And we'll add... Passengers. I don't think we'll need this many platforms. I really don't. Exit out of there. Delete the inside. But we'll build them anyway. Streets. And then we go that. Make sure it's on electric. Okay. And we'll bring it in. Nope. Doesn't like that. And then bring a second one in like this. And we'll branch that like that. Waypoint the whole thing. And I think we'll just dump everybody back. Actually, no, we won't. We'll... That's not pleasant either way. Okay, we may as well just pull them there because they're going to have to go by that way anyway. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll get rid of those lights need all these lights and then we'll go to the tram track upgrade tool but before we do that we want to decide on our route to the station i think because this is commercial up here and we've got stops there already i was thinking we can just go and loop around like that so what we'll do is we'll electrify this bit through here and then back that way and then what we'll do is we'll we'll create a bridge across there or a junction in the road 
We'll use one of those things. We'll make sure we're on electric and we'll punch back that way. Um, and if we go back to our upgrade tool, there you go, it's blue, so we just need that bit there. And I forgot to put the electric section on for here, so I can fix that. Yeah, and that should do it. So all we need now is some stops if we don't have any. So one opposite here will do. And then we'll have another one opposite here. Go around that way. One there. And then we could even have one there just for when that when the city grows in that direction. Worthing, let's see. Worthing buses is that one. New line. Worthing trams. And we'll keep it a sort of a lightish green colour. And we'll go from here to here to here. To here and there. Now, if you've electrified the road, it will show the bus tram symbol. If you haven't electrified it, it will show just the bus symbol. However, as you can see, the game takes a bit of time to refresh. So although we electrified that road, what, 40 seconds ago, it hadn't caught up with it yet. Um, so don't worry about that. But you should see um, both symbols if you've electrified that part of the road, if that makes sense. Last thing we need is a depot. So where's the current depot? Oh, it's all the way down there. Um, okay, why don't we have... Because we're, we're not going to use this space, are we? So why don't we just have a tram depot down here? Or even... Hmm. Yeah, no, let's have it here. We'll have a tram depot here that can just feed trams into the system. We'll have to electrify that track. But it keeps it out of town. The other thing to do is have it here feeding in there. That's a possibility. We could do that, actually. Let's do that kind of appeals to me a bit more uh, make sure it's on electric and then drag that into there like that and that should be it that should allow us to spawn the trams so do this and we'll get the nice quick ones again Got five of them change the color clothing trams job done cool so that's that done so the next bit to do oh, look at that i oriented that a bit nested didn't i Okay, let's delete that before we start using it. And we'll point it in the right direction. Um, also, probably we want to be further back here because the passengers have to walk to this station, so it wouldn't hurt if we kind of brought it a little bit nearer to the footpaths like that. Oh, that would be a better option because the pack's getting off here. We'll have to walk there the station. We've got to put the station here. They've got to walk all the way around. Um, right. So, let's have a look at this. Now, it doesn't really matter where we go through, but we're going to go through... Is that a high-speed line? Yes, it is. We're going to go through there like that. And like that. And this, of course, will be a diamond, just in case we want to run two lines here. Like so, and then this one on the inside will run through like that. And then we'll quickly smooth it out because it always looks a bit nasty and weird. Now, I did show you in previous videos that you can actually sort of paint trees if you want to, and it you know, the game puts trees on, on hilly areas quite often like that, but on different maps, obviously if you're on a sandy map or whatever, desert map, you'll get rocks and stuff, but under the assets tab, there is a, there is a way to sort of, you know, put some trees down if you just want to make life a bit more interesting, like, you know, you can even have things just going through an entire forest just to stop it being a bit boring. Um, just don't forget to not put anything actually on the track itself. Uh, but that's up to you. You know, you can you can go mad on this stuff if you want. You can even surround this in a in a complete forest just to kind of hide it away. What you'll notice when you sort of get out first person on the trains and you take you know you drive in the line, you might think to yourself, "Oh, it'd be really nice if it was a bit less barren." And at that point, that's when you want to come into those tools and start painting things up. Last step, I guess, is to. Um, well, we can put a, an interchange on that. 
Uh, and also, we then need to carry on a link down towards Mitchell Dean. Uh, which is a little bit more tricky. So what we'll do is we'll just get this line going first. We've got the trams going. We just need to um, get the trains in there. So we'll put a depot out here somewhere. Maybe like out there like that. Out of the way. And we'll bring that merged in. And then we just got to signal it all up. So one way. And what we'll do is we'll start here. We don't have a diamond, so we'll start here somewhere. That will take us to near enough to that diamond. That's fine with that. Build back here. Then we need one before the merge, one before the merge, one after the merge, and that should do that. And then finally, we want one after. And then coming back the other way. Beautiful. So let's get that line defined and let's get some trains on it. Uh, we want, what have we got? We've got Worthing to Biggleswade. So we've got a rail network, Worthing, Biggleswade, packs. Uh, we will make you a, what do we not have around here? We don't really have much in the way of light blue, so why not? Uh, packs from there to there straight through there that's absolutely fine and then it's a case of well what train do we want well it's not a particularly long run um i don't think it'll have an insane amount of packs on it either so maybe just we go straight with one of these but it is a 2.2 million to run so i'm thinking let's stick that's 600 grand a year to run that and then stick that's 1.7 million to run that. And I think a couple of those should do them nicely. Uh, but what I think we'll do is we'll just sign one up now and then we'll bring another one in, in in a minute. Sort of, you know, opposite ends of the line. And while that's happening, we'll come down here and we'll start to build this. Because this is going to be um, interesting, shall we say. I'm trying to bridge over this. And what we can do we have a look at the topology of the land here that station is at 20 meters because it's actually elevated which is really really handy um so what we actually want to do is find a point over here which is 20 meters that's 14 uh let's get up to 20 there's 20 here near enough there where this better land is that's 20 so we'll grab that and we'll have the flatten tool and we'll just bring that back a touch like that and then we'll smooth that out what I'm basically doing is give myself a platform with a track I kind of want the track to do this and let me just figure out which line we said we're going into uh, which platform sorry so we're using those two at the moment so we can use this one uh, let's see track tools let's just upgrade that to high speed and we'll grab this one now if we come all the way over here they should both be at the same, because this is at 20 meter elevation and so is the station. That should give us plenty of height, which you can see that it does, to leave the waterways open. So what all that remains now is to change that to something really nice. And that's why I like the modern bridges. Not only do they look really clean, but you can see the spacing is bigger as well because they've got modern concrete and modern materials. And it means that the uh, the disruption to the waterways is that much less. So we'll just smooth that out there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. If we have a look at the lines, so you can see shipping is more or less completely unaffected. Uh, so then all we've got to do now is go over here. Get rid of some of these redundant roads. Actually, is this one? No. I was, I was wondering for a second there if private transport was using that road, but thankfully it's not. At 
quickly all the way back because I can't just leave it. There we go. And then we get the track. Uh, so same thing. We know this is at 20 meters. So can we find an equivalent height over here? Let's have a look at the topology again. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. So this is about seven meters, isn't it? Um, it was quite elevated somewhere here, but what we could do is just keep the land level going. So as long as we hold the mouse key here, that will keep the height running through. Like that. Obviously, we want to stop before this, but on the other side, we want to be thinking, well, where do we want to be here? So this is 4.3. This is quite low, this, this patch of land. This is not a used waterway at the moment, but you never know when you're going to want to suddenly use it, you know? So we'll just elevate it up a bit. Okay, that's 14. That, that should be plenty. So I'm just going to use a bit of that land there we can make this look a bit more natural in a minute but what I'm just doing is getting the elevations right okay so the track will basically curve around here let's do that go over like that Keeps up the speed to there. Uh, so what we really have to do now, because obviously there's a gradient there. That was at 20 meters, that's at 15 or something. This is down much lower, so that it's going to have to sort of work its way down. Now in games like City Skylines, you can define a slope. So you can say, um, you can pick this point here, pick that point there, and then drag and it will create a gradiated slope. Um, there is no such thing here, unfortunately. Uh, we've only got raised, lower, flattened, and smooth. Um, so there's not a lot we can do about it. But we can sort of take a little guess. Do this kind of thing. And then, you know, you could leave a little cliff there if you want. Or maybe just build this out a bit. Make it a little bit more interesting. Put some trees on it if you want. It's up to you. You, you barely see it once it's smoothed out anyway. So you can leave it like that. That looks fine. And then we get the track tool and we go into here like that. Yeah, you can see there's a, a dip in the elevation there. Which we can easily fix. We get the flatten tool and we start here where it's flat and we just raise the ground and then smooth it back out. There you go. Looks like it was always there. You can, of course, go into way, way, way more detail with this stuff if you want to. You can make... It's not quite City Skylines, but then, it, you know, Skylines is a game... This is about building logistics network with a side order of making it look cool. Whereas, you know, Skylines is about building beautiful cities and whilst trying to manage the uh, the traffic and the economy. So they are fundamentally different games. Like I say, though, it would be nice to have that slope tool. Right. We'll build that to there like that. I'm happy with that. That's, uh, that'll be a nice ride when we jump on the train. Expanding our PAX network. Okay, signals all the way down there. Uh, probably put another one just before. Put one going back. One there like that. Should do it. And then we just need to think about how we're going to get trains out the depot into that. Uh, plenty of space for another depot. Or can we link through from here? Yeah, we could do. Chuck into the depot in some more. Hmm. 
Where do we chuck a depot in that doesn't look out of place? That's the question. I'm, I've got a feeling we end up using that factory at some point, so I don't really want to chuck a depot near that. Um, that's linked through there. Yeah, I don't want to build anywhere near here either. <laughs> okay, let's let's put a depot down. I'll probably end up moving this at some point, I, I imagine. But we'll just put the depot down here for now. Looks a little bit out of place. And then, on the merge, on the merge. Get rid of that one because it's too close to that one. And that should do it. Right, so now we just need to define Mitchell Dean to Biggles Wade. Mitchell Dean Biggles Wade. And we will have um, pink. Let's go pink. Right, we're going to go from packs here to packs here. They come in into different platforms, which is exactly what we want. Now, that is quite a run. So we definitely want to have, you know, it's quite flat, though, apart from that section, though, which goes down. This is mostly about 20 meters, if you remember, to about here. Then it drops to 14, it drops to about 10. So there's a bit of a gradient there, but it's nothing to write home about. I think the thing to do is make sure we keep that speed up. And I reckon it might be quite a popular line when it gets going. So I'm thinking either we go with this and go with 140 speed, or we go 125 and have the capacity. But I think they would appreciate a high speed connection. Um, is what I'm thinking. So maybe three cars and then we either go electric 140 which is 2.1 million a year 260 tractive or this which is almost the same tractive and a fraction of the price so it's a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, and then we go slap the pink on. Okay, while it's doing that it's going quickly find the train, which is there. It's got two whole passengers on it. Um, while it's on its way back, we'll add another one. Okay, that's about halfway. So we'll clone that. So that will come out and meet him halfway going the other way. Right, so are we starting to see any change? Well, obviously this is getting good, so that's benefiting them massively so they're starting to grow which is great news Biggles Wade, people are going there it's only a 3% line usage right now which is slightly worrying you can see what's happening is most people are still driving on the roads and not many are taking the uh, the old train which is a bit of an issue But the finance is not great. Yeah. The trams are burning money. There's a pack, sir. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you for taking the train today and saving the planet. The dolphins, thank you. Okay, so the line's getting established slowly. I think it will pick up in a minute once they realize they can get down to Mitchell Dean as well, which is a, you know, a huge city. Uh, and they've got, Worthing have got no way of getting here currently. It's very hard for them to get over here. Whereas now, with this high-speed train that we just deployed, which we need to bring in another one in a minute, uh, I think they will definitely start to um, get more people here. Right, let me just accelerate time because I want to get that into the station so we can drop another one in. Money's going up, that's the main thing. We'll, we'll have a quick check on things in a minute. But I think we've done some decent work so far. The whole map is started to now get connected, which is great. Okay, so we'll drop another one in now. We're going to need probably three on that line. It's going to run at a heavy loss for a while. Um, but I think it will make decent money fairly soon. We sort that... Okay, so 
I will refer to the previous episode where I said I think this will be one of our biggest earners, and also to the start of this episode where I said that will go easily up 40 million, and you can see. 54 million. It's it's the cost, like the profit from this one a lot. TGV. Guys. TGV. Just saying. Just saying. Put it out there. TGV. Use this with caution. The worst thing you can do is buy one right now. Because I guarantee you, you will lose money on it. And I'll explain why in a later episode. But that 50 million pays for the losses on pretty much every other line that we have. Including this, which is burning through cash at a ridiculous rate not. I do wonder why they're doing so poorly. I'm also trying to work out why I built such a stupid bridge. Why did I arch that bridge like that? Can anybody remember? That's completely unnecessary, isn't it? Should we fix that? Because that looks awful. Right, let's get that train out of the way. We're going to fix this. I have no idea. I can't even remember. I, I mustn't have noticed it happen. Right, we'll pause it. We're going to go in. We're going to sort this out. We can have a nice bridge as well. We don't need that horrible green thing. We trim this right back to here. It'll be at its starter level. And we'll bring this back to near the tunnel entrance. Like that. Because I can't for one minute believe that it needs to do that. That was that track, isn't it? Um, hang on. <laughs> There's a bit of floating bridge. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so sure why that had crazy elevations on it. Did I build that up for I honestly can't remember. But yeah, good riddance. Uh, that's that gone. Put that down. And then we just need to branch this line off. Okay, so I reckon that's probably about... Actually, we'll come in from the other side. We'll come in from here. No, we won't. We'll come in from this way. Put that on. Yes. Got there-ish. Um, we better put these back manually, I think, because otherwise I think it will carry on down the line with the signals and we'll end up with duplicates further down. Like it would start to put another one here and then another one here and it'll just be a real pain. So that should do it anyway. Yep, the line's fixed. We can unpause it and then we can come in, smooth that out. And that looks a zillion times better and also doesn't slow the trains down anywhere near as much. But the real question is, why are they so poorly supplied with passengers? We've got what looks like a good bus route going on. Maybe people just don't want to go down to Princess Risper. Ooh, that's going down. We need to start bringing combat here. 14% line usage. Get a feeling they're all still driving, you know. Yep, look at that. They just won't get out the cars, guys. We need to put more traffic lights in place. That's what we need to do. You know? Sorry if you guys are getting slowed down, but hey. <laughs> we can't have you traveling so quickly, can we? There you go. That's what you need. A bit of a traffic jam. <laughs> I digress. Right, um, let's go quickly back up here and see how this line's now functioning. Mitchell Dean, where are you? We've got any packs? Yes, we have. No, we don't. Mitchell Dean to Biggleswade. Is anybody on that? Three people. 
There are three people, and there are people waiting here. So the line is slowly established itself. Things aren't growing as quickly as I would like. Um, but we've got a lot more connectivity, so we want to start growing this now. But if you look at our public transport in Biggleswade compared to our private, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Over in Worthing, we're still, you know, that's more than double. So these two are fantastic for public transport because the roads are so rubbish. Mitchell Dean doing pretty well. Lee is not so bad. Roms is not so bad. Aylsham is pretty bad. Far, far too many people in Aylsham are getting in the car. Thatcham mm, could be better. But yeah, all the rest are doing okay. We have done quite a bit of work. Um, we've now got Worthing and Biggleswade connected up with passengers. We need to sort these guys out here. Hyde, Twickenham and Luggishall. Not to mention Henley on Thames. These are the um, the last of the big four. The last big four cities that are not linked. Even Sandhurst is linked now. Look, it's doing really well. Look at that. Look at the ratio there. Because Sandhurst basically has no roads. I don't even know. These journeys are all within the city. 7,000 on public transport. It's bonkers. But good news for us. So yeah, we need to sort these packs out. We also need to start getting more materials in because um, some of our bigger cities now, like this one, if you look at the food demand, it's not growing anymore. Lee needs twice as much food as it's currently getting. So we need to sort that out um, and or start bringing in some machines um, because it's just not getting what it needs now. It's grown that big. Um, similar situation over in Romsey. Again, not getting the fuel it needs, not getting any goods. So we're going to have to tackle all that if we want our cities to carry on growing. Uh, if you'll see it's a common problem everywhere now. So we've got plenty of industries left. We've got to link these up with packs. But we're going, you know, the right direction. Money's coming in. Uh, and I'm happy with where things are, really. Apart from, I think some people are actually getting on this train. Look, it's actually going to make a profit, I think. Anyway, we have run out of time, guys. Uh, so we'll have to leave it there. Let's have a quick look in our train view. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Tell your friends about the series. Uh, hope you get some good advice out of it and enjoying it on the way. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Happy transporting.